of mine, you know, you know Ask me what I'm doing just grinding Haters wanna hate, let them hate, never mind them Be more pins, tryna reach the next plateau And I can't stop till I achieve my goals Keep a couple feeds inside the photos So official with the vibe, you can pick up my zone Hold on for a minute, let me count mine, you know, you know What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Your boy is doing all right. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you have to do is turn that bell on, subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed. In order to get notifications every time I upload a video in the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with a vibrating symbol. <laughs> That way, every time I upload a video in the Cryer family, you, you, and you as well will get the notifications. Also, guys, we are back doing post notification shout outs at the end of every video. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, keep your notifications on, and obviously, you have to keep that bell on. Also, guys, I want to say a huge thank you for the ones who recently joined the new Cryer family Facebook page. If you have not joined the new Cryer family Facebook page, all you have to do is go to Facebook and type in The Cryer Family. It will pop up in the search engine. Click on the search engine. It'll take you straight to The Cryer Family Facebook page. All you have to do is press the follow button. You will get notified every time my video, video is uploaded over there three times a week. We're on the road to 100K on the new Cryer Family Facebook page. Also, if you guys have not followed me on IG, my Instagram is Damien Cryer Senior, all lower casings gone over there and follow me right down. Also, um, today, man, we are about to be headed out again. Day number, bam, four. We are gonna go to this place called Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen, Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, it's a restaurant, man. I guess it's like a dining restaurant. You ever notice, man, when you go on vacation, all you do is eat, 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 eat. I mean, eat, eat, eat. You eat, man, because that's what we do on vacation. Hell's Kitchen, I heard they got the best steak in town. I don't know. I'm only judging by what somebody else has told me. You know how people say, hey, don't go watch that movie because it's, it's, it's really not a good movie. It's a waste of time. But then you not go watch the movie because they said it's a waste of time because you heard it from somebody else. But then years later when the movie come out on Netflix, you're like, damn, we should have went and watched this movie. This movie was better than she said it was or he said it was. So can't judge a bus by his cover. I've never eaten at Hell's Kitchen. Everybody else said it's the bomb. I got to be the judge of that for myself. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm bringing you guys along with me, guys. So let's get ready to get up out of here, man. We fin to gritty. Get on this elevator and get the bleep boop up out of here. So I'm going to see you guys very shortly. We've been walking. Check it out, guys. Planet 13. All the buds you want. All the buds you want. You just walk right in there. Stuff. I guess you buy whatever you want to buy there. I ain't never been inside one of these stores before, but I'm quite sure it's a very lucrative business. They pulling up for their grain. Look, they got the ball outside rolling. Planet 13. I wonder why they call it Planet 13. They stuff must be that good that you feel like you're on a whole different planet. I'm just saying. Check out the ball, guys. She went up there and touched it. <laughs> wow. She went right up there. <laughs> Check it out, guys. I thought it was like gonna be like a bunch of water up under it, but it's not. It's like rocks and stones and stuff. That's pretty dope though. This lady just went up there literally and just touched it. I don't think we can, I guess we're going in here for a second, but I don't think we can take our cameras in here. Again, I ain't never been inside one of these stores before. I'm sure they ain't gonna let me have this camera on while I'm in here. In case you guys are asking, I wonder it. No, I'm not buying none of this stuff. I don't mess around like that. This is the inside guys. This is the floor of the dispensary. Everybody in here getting their green, man. See what it says up there, guys. Dispensary check-in. 
For those of y'all who never been to one of these places in the flesh, this is what it looks like on the inside. You got like lines of people here waiting to get their plants now. I didn't think we could have a camera here, but I guess we can. I don't want nobody to watch this video and get the tweaking like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, I'm sort of kidding. So we're in line, we're just walking through though. We're not really, you know what I'm saying? Checking it out, checking out everything actually. We're checking out all of it. So guys, tell me why I just walk into the store, right? Right next door, we stopped short of the store next door. Next door, I just seen a freaking weed factory where they actually make the weed. I done seen steel mill factories, automotive factories. I ain't never seen a weed factory. So this is about to be crazy. This, it'll be exciting to see what type of freaking ventilation system they got up in this bad boy. Look at my eyes, man. I told my kids, I said, yo, I got a contact when I walked up in here. They said, I ain't got no contact. But man, listen, you can smell it. That stuff is strong, man. But this is some of the stuff they got. They got the little bud plant um, M&Ms and stuff. You can tell this is probably like the good stuff, man. Look at that. Don't worry, guys. This is not the real stuff. This is just stuff that they sell. It's not the real stuff that people are actually here for. <laughs> Respect the edible plant. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. Planet 13, baby. They got the cut the ball caps and everything. Triple sevens. Welcome to the Planet 13 Nevada. Oop. Welcome to Fabulous Planet 13 Nevada. That's what it says. Check out the lab, man. This is crazy. This is the weed lab, bro. Y'all seeing this firsthand. They in there mixing the chemicals up. Oh my God. I want to see the finished product, man. Like, like I said, guys, we not here for any personal stuff like that. And whoever is, it's not my business. But we're just basically touring, showing you guys like what we're doing, places that we're at. Yo guys, check this out, right? They got freaking cereal edibles. Cereal edibles, man. I think that's the Kaboom cereal. We grew up off that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fruity Pebbles, for real, man. That's, that's crazy. Hold on, they got to check out these uh, spices right here. Check this out. Look at these spices right here, man. This is freaking spices. This is edible spices, man, for the freaking chicken wings, eggs, shrimp, corn. It's the freaking spice for that stuff, man. It's crazy. What the heck is really going on? There it is, guys. Hell's Kitchen. The whole crew's together. We got reservations. So I was told that this is actually a five-star restaurant right here, guys. So, what the heck? Hey, what the heck's going on? This baby right here. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> actually excited to be down here man somebody was asked me that I see the show on television called Hell's Kitchen which I never actually seen it but I heard about it so basically was told that it was a five-star restaurant so I've never eaten there I never really watched the show but uh oh I wanted to show you guys Caesar Palace since it's daytime show you guys how big Caesar Palace is look at that it's really bright out here today so I'm hoping I can get like a good shot of the buildings caesar palace is extremely huge i mean it is huge down here man never seen anything like it as far as like uh, from a hotel standpoint from a hotel standpoint it is very huge caesar palace like we was on like one side of the city area and we seen like the beginning part of caesar palace then we got on the other side and I looked up and I seen Caesar Palace again and I realized just how big Caesar Palace actually is. Yes. That's a nice little display. Yep. There it is again, Caesar Palace. Look at this. Really nice, man. 
the shrine of the four face from uh, it's under constant surveillance. Oh, okay. They basically, oh yeah, they got cameras all around this bad boy. They letting us know it's under constant surveillance. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice little display. Okay guys, so I got my ribeye. It's probably the biggest steak out of everybody. They even got the filet mignon. Y'all can see eating no big one. Filet mignon. Y'all got the filet mignon, medium well. Medium. Medium, medium, okay. Everybody got the, uh, almost like the same steak. But anyway, I'm finna grade a child down. Oh, also guys, I got these mushrooms on deck right here. So I'm finna eat, so. First time eating at Hell's Kitchen. Yo guys, so we are, uh, we just left, uh, what was the name of that restaurant, Marvin? The one we went to? Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, thanks. Yeah. So we just left Hell's Kitchen, man. Now we are at the Flamingola. Flamingola. So, never been here before. We finna get ready to check out this plate, man. But I'm kind of wondering, because it said topless. So here's the sign right here, Flamingo. You guys can see it. Damon and Bianca schedule so much stuff, man. When I got the itinerary or the stuff that they scheduled, I didn't even know it was gonna be this much stuff scheduled, man. It's about to be lit, and look how many people out here. By the way, we did catch another limo here. Actually, we had, uh, it's crazy, man. We've been inside three limousines today. Three, three limousines in one day, and all of them was three different limos, three different drivers, so. Here we go. Up the escalator we go. Damien them up front. Um, Yo, man, this has been a fun day. But at the same time of it being a fun day, it's actually been like a little crazy day, man. I don't know. Y'all can say I'm getting just a little bit homesick. They ain't nothing wrong getting homesick, you know what I'm saying? I've been gone for almost a week now, so I'm a little homesick. I do miss Mia, and I cannot wait to see my baby. And before y'all get the asking questions, Mia is with a dog sitter. She is just fine. She's just fine. I know a few people in the comments like, where is Mia? Where is Mia? My dog is just fine. She's with a dog sitter. Yes, I did get a dog sitter in Houston. So, I cannot wait to get back home to see her. But anyway, guys, so you inside of this place right here. Everything as usual. Everything always says Vegas. Everything is Vegas. Vegas, Vegas, Vegas. I might get a couple of those pendants to take home, you know. Look at these donuts on the wall, guys. They got a donut display on the wall. It's off the chain. I ain't gonna lie, man. It is a lot to see here. I said this in a couple other videos. You guys ever get a chance to come out here, man? It is so much stuff to do. I would have never thought, like, my first trip coming out here to Vegas, I would have never thought that I would be doing this much stuff. Because normally, like, when I go on, like, a, a trip, like, it's only like, like, we get, like, hotels, like, like everybody else do. We get hotel rooms and stuff, but we don't really schedule stuff the way that they did it. So when Damon and Bianca sent us our itinerary, which we got our itinerary sent to our phones last week, and I looked at everything that we was doing for every day, at least three events a day. That's why I've been dropping videos for you guys like crazy. So, bro, they got a they got a K9 unit in here. They ain't playing no games up in this place. Remember, I told y'all, man, it's a freaking casino everywhere. Everywhere you go, it's a casino. Look at this, casinos, casinos. That's it. It's casinos everywhere, man. Nothing. Listen, I'm gonna say this right here. If y'all ever come out here to Vegas, man, y'all better bring a whole lot of money with y'all. Look, it's just casinos. It's everywhere. Look at Everybody looks so nice. There's the Harrison family, the Harris family over there. Blended chaos. And you got the Prince family. Oops. Yeah, man. I mean, you better have some money when you come out here. You can't come out here with no three or four hundred dollars in your pocket talking about I'm gonna go to the casino and gamble. That ain't gonna happen. You better have some real money. But anyway, we are fent to see this actor. The actor name is Chris Angel. It's up there on the thing, Chris Angel. Now, the other day, we weren't seeing David Copperfield. They wouldn't let us bring no cameras in there at all. So this one with the Chris Angel, probably can't bring any cameras in there either, guys. But it's all to the freaking good. It's all good, man. And this is what I was telling you all again, man, when I said them casinos. Now that I have a close-up, we are at a whole different 
listen, every hotel, I can't even explain it right now. Every hotel that we go to, there's a freaking casino, man. They say everything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, meaning your money stays in Vegas as well. Imagine that. Now, how was that for a joke? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So far, a lot of money that stayed here come out of my pocket.